Hello, I'm in Memphis at this glorious hotel. And of course, I'm gonna hear to watch the Grizzlies Blazers game. The Blazers, I actually saw like uh, the team vans actually downstairs in the lobby. So they're staying here as well. But I don't actually know um, where they're actually staying in the hotel. They probably have some penthouse suite. I've just got the basic room. It's pretty nice as you can see, fairly large. I think like queen size bed, basically, maybe like a full size bed, TV and everything as well. But I wanna talk about the Binance fund. So that's what's actually been driving the markets down. Now, crypto has not had a great week because Paxful went down the P2P trading and then Bioxy is getting uh, sued. And that could actually be kind of like a parallel to the Coinbase um, case in itself. Uh, and so we'll have to see how that comes out. Meanwhile, the XRP case is not ending. It's still ongoing, so there's actually, you know, like not too much um, good news in crypto. But it was cited by internet personality Kabi, that actually, who is an Ethereum well, so he might actually have another purpose for perpetuating this kind of FUD, by the way. That CZ has been wanted by Interpol, and now he's wanted internationally, but there's been no evidence for that. Now, not to say it's impossible, they could actually issue it at any time, but I think it's kind of doubtful. I mean, both the US and China, I, I think, kind of want him. I don't know if China really does, but the US definitely wants him in custody, but uh, I don't think there's any real criminal charges that have actually been uh, pressed against CZ. It's all basically just civil charges. He could end up owing a lot of money. Binance can end up owing a lot of money. And it's the CFTC that's actually suing them. I think the CFTC generally does civil charges and not criminal charges. I don't know if the DOJ or anyone else is actually involved in this. So somewhat unlikely for what Kobe's saying, and we have no corroborating evidence that this is actually going to happen. So I don't really believe what he's gonna say, but he has managed to FUD down the market for the first half of the week. Like I said, I think it's going to go back the next half of the week uh, as the FUD subsides and I don't think anything's actually going to happen. Um, as for the game tonight, I'm kind of rooting for the Grizzlies. I want uh, to see John Moran play. I want to see Dame Lillard play as well. This game isn't really that important because the Blazers are already eliminated from the playoffs and the Grizzlies are solidly in the playoffs at the number two or number three spot. They may end up playing the Lakers. The Lakers have been pretty good so far with Anthony Davis and LeBron and that new crew. And if they win an NBA title, well, then that would be awesome. But anyways, yeah, the FUD with uh, CZ and Binance, I think, is like totally fake. Um, no evidence at all. I think of a huge event like this, they would actually find evidence. They seemingly had a decrypted SHA-256 hash to say this, but I don't think it's very likely because... The thing is, like, some uh, someone from law enforcement would have to leak it for this to be true, and it's actually illegal to leak such things, and anyone who did could actually risk time in jail. So, very, very unlikely. So, yeah, I think it's uh, in the FUD category for right now, and I don't think anyone should pay attention to it until something, some more evidence shows up. And it could just be a coordinated scheme to bring crypto down as well. Successful for the first half of the week, but it's bounced back up pretty fast. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.